Say, tell me something. Ain't you scared of me? I mean, after what that cop said about me, taking money from girls? I ain't scared. Is that your name? Julie? Julie something? Julie Jordan. You're a queer one, Julie Jordan. Ain't you sorry that you didn't run away? You can still go if you wanna. I reckon that I care to choose to stay. You couldn't take my money if I didn't have any, and I don't have a penny, that's true. And if I did have money, you couldn't take any, cause you'd ask and I'd give it to you. You're a queer one, Julie Jordan. Have you ever had a fella you give money to? No. Ain't you ever had a fella at all? No. Or you must have had a fella you went walking with? Yes. Where'd you walk? Special I recall in the woods, no, on the beach, no. Did you love him? No, I never loved nobody. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny kid. Say, you want to go into town and uh, dance, maybe? Or no, get... I have to be careful. Of what? Of my character. You see, I'm never gonna marry. I'm never gonna marry. If I was gonna marry, I wouldn't have to be such a stickler. But I'm never gonna marry, and a girl who don't marry has got to be much more particular. What if I was to say I'd marry you? You? It scares you, don't it? You're thinking about what that cop said. No, I ain't. I, I never paid no mind to what he said. Yeah, but you wouldn't marry anyone like me, would you? Yes, I would. If I loved you, it would make no difference what you... Well, even if I died for it. How do you know what you'd do if you loved me, or how you'd feel, or anything? I don't know how I'd know. Ah. Just the same. I know how I... how it'd be if I loved you. When I worked in the mill, weaving at the loom, I'd gaze absent-minded at the roof And half the time the shuttle the tangle in the thread And the warp it'd get mixed with the woof If I loved you But you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see just exactly how I'd be. If I loved you time and again, I would try to say all I'd want you.
But you don't love me. It's what you said, wasn't it? Yes. I can smell them. Can you? The blossoms. <laughs> the wind brings them down. Ain't much wind tonight. Hardly any. You can't hear a sound, not the turn of a leaf. Or the fall of a wave hidden the sand. The tide's creeping up on the beach like a thief, afraid to be caught stealing the land. On a night like this, I start to wonder what life is. I always say two heads are better than one to figure it out. I don't need you or anyone to help me. I gotta figure it out for myself. We ain't important. What are we? A couple of specks of nothing. Look up there. There's a hell of a lot of stars in the sky. And the sky's so big, the sea looks small. And two little people, you and I, we don't count at all. You're a funny kid. <laughs> don't remember ever meeting a girl like you. You! You trying to get me to marry you? No! Then what's putting it into my head? You're different, all right. I don't know what it is, but... You look up at me with that... that little kid face... like you trusted me. I wonder what it'd be like. What? Nothing. I know what it'd be like. It'd be awful if I can just see myself. Kinda scrawny and pale, picking at my food, and lovesick like any other guy. I'd throw away my sweater and dress up like a dude in a dicky and a collar and a tie. If I love you. But you don't. No, I don't. But somehow I can see just exactly how I'd be.
I'm not a fella to ever get married. Even if a girl was foolish enough to want me to, I wouldn't. Don't worry about it, Billy. Who's worried? You're right about there being no wind tonight. The blossoms are just coming down by themselves. Just their time to, I reckon.